Welcome back to more Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, everybody. In the last episode, we completed Tricking the Trickster 2, which was actually a very difficult duel. As you saw, it was just a big stalemate for the most part, and that was happening. Anyway, the final match of the, of the World Racing Grand Prix was Team 5Ds versus Team New World. The first round was Jack versus Lester. The final match was about to begin. Okay. Well, that's cool, I suppose. Number 39, Utopia, the most iconic card from Zexel. Technically speaking, I mean, yes and no. Iconic in terms of, yeah, like for marketing purposes, but it obviously wasn't a very good card. Um, it's, it's actually not a bad card, definitely not, but, you know, it definitely could have been better, technically speaking. Alright. So you start with a Foolish Burial. Oh my god, you and your damn mech lords. Okay, let's see what I can actually do here in terms of plays, because I don't know what I can do. Let's start by looking at this. So you foolish burial this. Uh, must be special something that's on the fact. And okay. When the face of monster you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Other monsters you control cannot declare an attack. Once per turn, you can target one synchro monster opponent controls equipped uh this is a long ass effect. And as I can kind of see there, um, it's not exactly... I don't know why you milled that. That thing is better in your hand. Because you can special summon itself in the hand. Target one piece of monster on the field, it becomes level 4 until the end phase. Target one piece of monster on the field and activate one of these effects. Increase it by 1 or reduce it by 1. Okay. Um... And then this thing, during your battle phase, this card cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage. Uh, if this card attacks a monster, after damage calculation, that target loses 500 attack until the end of this turn. And then this thing is a tuner. And then my... This, I just have, okay, my Red Dragon Archfiend. Once per turn, this face-up defense position card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go ahead and summon Rocket Warrior and just swing for an attack. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, and once per turn, one other Mechler monster control it declares an attack and defense position. You can activate its effect and flick piercing. Okay. No, no, no. Stupid quick place card that I have. Okay, I'm going to attack. Okay, so there we go. Now it's lower. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and set. Call of the Haunted. I think that's going to be the best move, and I'm just going to end a turn there. Hopefully I made a good decision. Ooh, you MST'd my Call of the Haunted. Damn it. That's fine. I mean, you don't really have much to work with anymore. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I totally misread that. It didn't really matter because there wasn't much I could do, you know? Like, if I would have set Dark Resonator or Summon it... Yeah, I know a lot of you were like, why did you do that? I actually thought that that 500 attack stays more than one turn? Oh my god, I'm... Again, but, but it was no good move, I mean... If I set this thing to protect myself, it wouldn't have mattered, you know? Um, okay, so that thing's gonna have piercing, which means Gelan Duo is not going to be able to do anything. Um, shit. I don't know, man. I don't really have a move here. I can summon this thing to just crash into the other one and then freaking destroy your monster. But then I'm gonna be destroyed too. I don't really have good options here, you know? Because if I just set either Dark Resonator or Clock Resonator, they're gonna be destroyed because it's only a once per turn protection, but you got two monsters on the field, so I can't... And this guy literally keeps summoning monsters every turn, so it's not working. You know? I, uh... I'm not exactly sure what I can... What I'm capable of right now. Probably nothing, to be perfectly honest, because... He destroyed my one and only thing that could have actually worked. And then these two cards are essentially useless. They're just minuses. Um... I mean, what, what do I do? If I protect myself with any of these, 
You're gonna destroy it, and then... I have one turn left to make any kind of move, any kind of play, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through this, because basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get destroyed, you're gonna have two monsters on the field still, maybe three if you summon another one. Okay, you activated a field spot, I don't even wanna read it, because I'm probably gonna lose anyway, so yeah. I'm, if I don't top deck something right now, I'm gonna lose, so I might as well just restart the duel. So it all just kind of depends on- oh yeah, piercing too. <laughs> wow. 250 life points left. Wow. Damn, Jack, you just got completely smashed. You did not have a chance this turn- or this turn, this duel. From the very beginning, like from the starting hand, I did not have a single opportunity to even make the slightest play. I realized that I misplayed with Rocket Warrior because for some reason I thought it was permanent? Oh my god, I'm, but still, it didn't matter because it would have been destroyed no matter what I did. You know, it, it, there was no saving. The, the, your clutch move was the fact that you got rid of Call of the Haunted because I think I could have then gone into a play to get Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, but I couldn't. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this time it might be a little bit better with what I have going here, maybe? Maybe. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand, but okay, that might actually, yeah, so that's going into an exact, okay, that would work. I'm going to special summon you in defense mode. It's basically like a mini cyber dragon, sort of. You can get a tuner. If you control a level 8 or higher single monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, this face up defense position card. Okay, so this thing is actually worse than Dark Resonator. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon this one. So I can go into Red Dragon Archfiend. Alright, let's do that. Send them both to the graveyard. Oh my god, do you see how just one duel, like, one duel, you get completely stomped, next duel, you actually, it's, it's just depends on your starting hand and what luck you can draw, you know, the fact that I top deck, or top deck, that I drew into two vice dragons, that was the clutch thing right there, last time it didn't happen, now his trap cards could still wipe me out and it probably will, but whatever, I, I gotta go for it, you know, okay, that wasn't the worst thing in the world, this guy has no extra deck by the way, what the hell kind of 5D's character doesn't have an extra deck? A 5D's character with no synchro monsters? What is this? What the hell? Come on, it's almost like if you're a 5D's anime character, the rule is you have to have at least one synchro monster. You have to. Okay. Gain life points equal to its attack. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's... Wait a minute. What? The fuck? Okay, I, I don't... Whatever. I'm, I must have missed something there. But anyway. Uh, so I can summon now. That's useless. Uh, if you take any damage, I don't want to summon that thing yet, then. But I can go into another Red Dragon Archfiend, <laughs> technically. Because um, if I do... Well, no, no. I would have to... Wait. No, because it's three and then... No, I wouldn't, because I can special summon this thing. Creation Resonator, but then I'm still missing a little bit. So no, but I will go ahead and summon Rocket Warrior. Do I dare summon this thing? I don't really think it's worth it, but... I'll just go for it. It might be a dumb play, but... Uh, not really. It doesn't really matter, right? No, no. No, I, why, why did it move to that one? I literally went into Rocket Warrior and then the game forced me to go back into Creation Resonator. That was weird. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. If I would have attacked with this thing, would it have destroyed? I don't even know. I literally don't even know. Let's see. So the effect is going to activate. Wait, no, it didn't. I guess you don't have any more. Okay. And then swing for 800. Okay. And then that's it. 
Probably so this duel is looking much better, as you can clearly see. So every monster I have attacked, which means that Red Dragon Archon does not destroy anything. Mechlord Fortress. Okay, so I have to read that effect because I don't really know what the hell it does. Mechlord Emperor monsters you control cannot be targeted by the effects of single monsters. When this card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can add one Mechlord. Okay, that thing is shitty. Add one Resonator monster from your deck to your hand. What do I have? Chain Resonator. Um, there's no level 4 Resonators. I'm just going to add one of these. I don't really care which one. Then I'm going to... I'll just go ahead and summon Galanduo. Okay. Will this actually be enough? I don't know, man. 15 and 17, but yeah, it will. It'll be almost exactly enough. And 3,000 from Red Dragon Archfiend, and that's it. There we go, much better the second time around, much better. Jack was able to dispatch Lester. He now faced the next member of Team World Primo. Okay, so it's Dawn of the Machines. All right. Primo, Primo, Primo. Infestation Ripples. Steel Swarm, that's part of the Swarm archetype. It's a, it's a really weird way to say that, but it's because, see, there's Steel Swarms and there's Evil Swarms. The only part of that name that's shared is the Le Swarm, L Swarm. So that's actually what the archetype is called. It's called Le Swarm. It's not Steel Swarm or Evil Swarm. It's Le Swarm. Okay, oh my god, more Mac Lords. I feel like I just did this duel. Oh my god, I have an Effect Veiler, by the way. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, and negate the effects of that face-up monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. Okay, so that's 1600. Hmm. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand, but its original attack and defense become half, kind of like Vice Dragon. During each of your standby phases, increase the level of this card by one. There can only be one Solar Wind Jammer on the field. Okay. So I can actually just go into the same exact combo that I did before, right? Okay. What effect do you have when it's normal summon? You can... Okay, it doesn't matter. Then I can go ahead and summon Clock Resonator. Then I can go into a Red Dragon Archfiend. The exact same thing except I'm using Solar Windjammer instead of Vice Dragon. Wow. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna put you right here in the middle. In the exact middle. Alright, so right there's Red Dragon Archfiend. Cool. And then, all I can do now is attack. And then set Call of the Haunted on main base 2. Okay, so that worked. That's good. Yeah, basically, Mech Lords, I believe, have effects that are like anti-synchro, I'm pretty sure. So it is kind of a shame for me that I have this. And, I mean, even on the last... Um... The last duel, you know? Uh, no. So I don't know if he's gonna do something to wipe my synchro monsters. Playful possum. Um. Ooh, you know what I should do? Your opponent must control a monster with a higher attack than this card for you to activate it. Mm. Should I use a Feg Veiler on that? Because I know, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna bring it out next turn so you can go into some kind of crazy play, right? Maybe. I mean, it's entirely possible, but I, I might want to do it. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing Effect Veiler. Negate that effect. So now you're forced to leave it in face of attack position this turn. No, I don't want to use my Call the Haunted. Oh! Shit. I misplayed. I misplayed. You gotta be kidding me. Creature Swamp. Dang it. Okay. See, Creature Swap is a freaking good card when you're using decks that are not competitive because it's permanent. I... Mm, it might be over. <laughs> it might actually be over, to be honest. 
No, I can still get my own Red Dragon Archfiend, but, um... Shit. Turn one, turn one, three, control. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle. See, this is not really useful. I can go into another Red Dragon Archfiend. It's very obvious, but, um... Well, I mean, that's my only move from now. God, you know your stupid creature swaps. So there's the tricky, and then I have to use Call of the Haunted to bring out this. Then I'm gonna come over here and get a red. No, shut up. Yeah, see, that's. Mm, I don't know, man. Should I just uh, see the problem is if I crash into it, I'm left with one card in my hand that has 300 attack. So basically, I lost a duel. So I can't crash into it. And by the way, Red Dragon Archfiend doesn't destroy itself if you don't attack. It says once per turn during your end phase, destroy all other monsters you control that do not attack this turn, which means that it's not going to destroy itself. So, I really have to think of what I'm going to do here. Because I don't know. I think I'm screwed regardless because this guy still has three cards in his hand. Okay, he actually ended up passing. That's really shocking. Um, space Gate. No, and there's no point in putting this on the field, as you know. Because it's just going to get destroyed by Red Dragon Archfiend's effect. So, we're kind of at a stalemate here until something happens. I don't know what exactly can happen for me to win. Uh. Wait. Are you serious? You might have a plan. That's why you're doing this. There's no, there's no way you can be that idiotic. Oh, you know what I should do? I should actually activate this. Space gate. Okay. So, what does this thing do? Let's see. Equip one monster your opponent controls with his... Cannot be normal summon, must be special summon. Cannot be... When the face of monster you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard. Okay, that's why he did that. Um, except... I... Ugh. Damn. What a good card, huh? Bam! Look at that. Look at that. But I'm trying to read the whole effect here. Because that thing actually looks really good. If it doesn't have any more drawbacks... Like... Let's see. When a face of monster you control, you can special summon this card from your hand. Other monsters you control cannot declare an attack. And that's a limitation. Once per turn, you can target one single monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped with its effect. You can send one monster control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard. This card can attack your opponent directly this turn. That's actually pretty good. Um, the limitations are not really there that much, aside from other monsters cannot attack. But it's a very good anti-synchro card. Um, okay, interesting. What is this? During damage calculation, if your opponent battles an opponent's monster with a higher attack... Wait, if your opponent... Sorry, if your monster battles an opponent's monster with a higher attack, pay life points equal to the difference in attack. It's too late, though. Because... He's going to attack me directly. Um, and I have to pay life points equal to the di I don't have enough life points yet, I lost regardless. <laughs> Sorry. So, Prideful Roar. I have to pay a lot of life points. Man, these duels are hard. Or maybe Jack's deck just sucks ass. I don't know. <laughs> but I have been seeing... Well, last last duel, the first one that I lost, uh, horrible hand. That one was better. This one, this hand was not horrible. I mean, I got into Red Dragon Archfiend. The problem is that these guys have anti synchro decks, so in a way, I'm kind of thinking like, maybe I shouldn't go into Red Dragon Archfiend to bring it back and go into... Okay, what can I do? Call the Haunted? No, obviously I'm not going to chain that right now. Okay. Oh, the game, the game closed. Okay, so the game actually crashed, I'm not really sure if I'm going to show like a couple seconds of that, but that was kind of stupid to be honest. Um. It happens a lot. We kind of already, I kind of already established this. And I don't need to talk about it anymore. That 
this game is awful when it comes to that. Konami didn't really do their their part on that, on polishing up the game. Even with the update, it still had that issue, so it's kind of shitty, but oh well. Anyway, I top deck Cyber Dragon here in the very beginning for this time around, so ooh, okay, well. There's a torrential. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um. I could actually attack into by going into the tricky and then bringing. Oh my god, but if you have a negate attack, I think I already lost a duel. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad, people. If he has any trap that, that delays me for even one turn. I actually already ended up losing the duel because um, you're just going to take control of it and your turn, my Red Dragon Archfiend. Right now it's the only move I have that is viable for getting rid of your monster. So if you can somehow protect it for one turn, I lose a duel because you're about to get a 5,200 attacker on your turn. So it all comes down to that face down. You're either going to do 5,200 direct damage to me next turn or I'm gonna wipe you out with basically one card left in your hand. It all comes down to your face down, that's what it is. Okay. I'm actually in this duel. I definitely am. I seriously thought that you were gonna protect yourself. Well, okay, that's not the worst in the world. That's fine. Cause now he's only got two, there's no way he can make a comeback anymore, right? Well, I shouldn't say that, he's an AI, so <laughs> you all know that. Alright, is he going to have another Torrential Tribute? Oh my gosh. I almost don't want to summon another monster. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to swing for an attack. I don't freaking care. Okay. Dude, I seriously don't... Oh my god, should I summon this thing? Crap, what if I... Oh my god. Is, is it a dumb move to summon it? What if you have a second copy of Torrential Tribute? Oh my gosh. Maybe I should just set, right? Um, This is a really tough decision, but I'm not gonna summon. Oh, do you? I don't know. Oh yeah, no, why, 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 would, I, why would I summon anyway? I was gonna get destroyed, not, no. But, well, I mean, I guess I'm also talking for next turn. Because... This is real bad, isn't it? This is a really tough decision. Oh man. I am going to summon it. I don't feel very confident though. Okay, okay, that worked. I'm gonna attack with you. Okay, that was a good move on my part because that would have been a tie. Okay, it's still working. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, okay, am I really gonna do this? Am I really gonna do this? Enter battle phase attack, hurry up. Let's see. Damn, that was so much easier this time. Look at that luck, dude. So luck based. Some duels you just get the worst luck, other duels you just get amazing luck, you know? It's all just. It's a wild card over here. Victory or Doom? Even though Jack defeated two members of Team New World, he was quickly dispatched by their third member, Jacob. The fate of Team 5Ds once again rested in Yusei's hands. Jacob revealed his true intentions and a glimpse of the future to Team 5Ds. Okay. What the hell? This is the future. New Domino City. Hmm. What the heck? Of energy. Not energy, but energy. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Synchro summoning, and that's essentially why their decks are anti-synchros, in case you couldn't already put that 
you know, together. Yeah, that's basically why. So th these these people here are just anti-synchro. Okay. D Aporia. Suddenly, a massive structure known as the Divine Temple appeared in the sky. It slowly began to descend toward New Domino City. If the Divine Temple crashed into the ground, it would destroy the entirety of New, uh, New Domino City. Alright. Gingerbread House. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. That one, and... Please, go first. Go first. Yes. I like going second. Okay, good surgery cards already. Nice, nice. But not good monsters, but that's okay because my surgery cards are essentially good monsters. Okay. So you only set one card. That's very interesting. Um, target one phase of effect monster your opponent controls. That phase of monster your opponent controls has its effects negated until the end of this turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one phase of effect monster your opponent controls. That target has its effects negated until the Okay. So it's an anti-effect card, similar to Fiendish Chain, but um, also has an additional graveyard effect. But Fiendish Chain also prevents the opponent from attacking. Uh, let's see. Okay. An effect veiler. Let's go with the Rota. So let's see what I can actually get here. Um, two options. If you're putting, sorry, if you control the face of tuna monster, you can spell some of this card from your hand. In the face of defense position, all warrior type monsters you control gain 300 attack. Okay, that is a little interesting there. Should I just grab boost warrior then? I might need it because I still have tuning and I can grab my junk synchron that way. Unless there's another one I prefer. Let's see. Trill Synchron. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to take my Junk Synchron. Let's go with that. And I send... What did I send? Mystic Piper. You can take this card to draw and reveal one card. That card is a level 1 monster card. Draw one more card. Okay. Um... Well then, what should I do here? Mm, what I'm going to do is summon Junk Synchron. And I'll activate the effect, yes, because why not? So I'm going to put that one there. So that's... Um, I can activate the effect, but it's negated. Um, so that's basically a four. What do I have over here? Do I have Junk Warrior? I do have Junk Warrior. Okay, I also have Formula Synchron, by the way. That's good to know. Because that thing is actually fairly useful in some ways. Um, but I don't have a level one tuner. Well, actually, I do I have a Feck Veiler that's technically a level one tuner. I can also bring this one out, though, and go into Junk Warrior right away. Which, honestly, it's not a bad idea. Let's just send all three of them. Okay. There we go. And now I can activate Synchro Blast Wave next turn. That's of course if my attack even lands. I don't know what the hell you have face down. Okay, so far so good. I'm also going to set this because I might need to use it and end the turn. Okay, let's see here. Seriously? Okay, that is interesting. I'm not exactly sure what the heck you're planning. I'm going to go into another Junk Warrior then. I can do that. I can bring up my Junk Synchron. Uh, I can do that, yeah. Put that right there. Okay. Then I can go over here. Oh, I can actually bring that other monsters. 
Uh, because I can use that, I can bring a Stardust Dragon as well. That's, that's actually a little tempting to do. But then I have a bunch of shitty monsters on the... F oh, no. I'm just going to bring out another one of these. I could have upgraded into a Stardust Dragon, but... I'd rather just do a lot more damage because I have a pretty good idea that I'm going to be able to win. Because I now have a Mirror Force as well. So that is a saving grace that I can do 4,600 damage this turn. I'm really curious as to what the heck this guy's planning to do though. Like, this guy literally has five cards in his hand and hasn't made any plays aside from setting one card. Very interesting how this is working out. What? Um. What just happened? Wait, am I gonna win? Okay, I just won the duel against this apparently boss character. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. I will take it. That was really, that's so far the oddest duel I've ever seen. Seriously. So we have three duels left. Alright. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.